John, we're live. All right, at this time, a little sergeants, please start their recordings. PC started. Recording to the cloud, all set. Backup is rolling. Thank you, and good morning, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing for the Committee on Transportation. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their videos for verification purposes, and please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Rodriguez, we are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant, and thank you again, all the tech teams for allowing us to connect all New Yorkers to the hearing. Uh, good morning and welcome to the Committee on Transportation, a, a hearing to vote on proposed intro a 946-B, sponsored by Councilmember Lander, and Dani Rodriguez, the chair of the committee. Proposed intro 946-B will prohibit on call, on call scheduling for utility safety employees and require that advance notice of work schedule be given to utility safety work employees. This bill seeks to ensure that the men and women performing critical on the ground infrastructure work in our city are treated fairly. Proposed intro 946-B would ban the practice of on-call scheduling for utility safety employees who locate and mark on the ground infrastructure. The proposed bill would prohibit the employer from canceling, changing, or adding work shifts within 72 hours of the start of the shift except in limited circumstances. The proposed bill would require the employer to provide a utility safety employee with a writing work schedule no later than 72 hours before the first shift on the work schedule to post the schedule at the work location 72 hours before the beginning of the schedule hours of work and to provide the employee at the employee's request a written copy of the work schedule for any week work the prior three years. I will now call on the council member Lander the sponsor of this legislation to give his opening statement. Thank you so very much, Chair Rodriguez. Utility safety workers, also known as underground utility locators, perform really critical essential work for our city uh, before a construction project takes place, before the ground is open up. They identify where the utilities are underground and mark it. Obviously, that is critical work because having it marked correctly before the ground is dug up can be key to preventing you know, what could be a catastrophic accident. So it's critical that they can do their best to keep them safe and to keep New Yorkers safe. Unfortunately, scheduling practices have been that they've been allowed to be scheduled at the last minute, any time of day or night. And we're not talking here about emergency situations when of course people could be called, but routine construction work that can easily be scheduled in advance and for which there is no reason to demand on-call scheduling. Uh, this council prohibited on-call scheduling for fast food workers and retail workers to give people fair and stable schedules to know their state schedules in advance. Intro 946 will do the same for utility safety workers um, to give them some basic protections. We're talking here about workers who, uh, without organizing, are just earning minimum wage or barely above. Uh, I want to give real props to the Communications Workers of America for working with utility safety workers to help make those jobs uh, better with dignity, with workplace protections, with better pay, uh, but we still need to provide this critical protection to keep those workers safe and to keep all New Yorkers safe. Thank you to the chair. Uh, thank you to my colleagues. I hope you will uh, join me in voting for intro 946B. Thank you so much. Thank you, council member. Give me one second. Thank you. I will now ask the committee clerk to conduct a roll call vote on the proposed bill and recommend my colleague to vote yes on this important piece of legislation. Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, Committee on Transportation, roll call vote on in proposed intro 946B. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Ku. Aye. Levin. Aye. Levine. Aye. 
Menchaca. Aye. Miller. Um, permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. So while we certainly are not here to debate the merits of the validity of the work and what the work that we've done as a, as a council here on behalf of fast food workers, uh, I do take exception uh, as does uh, leadership in the labor movement with this body attempting to legislate um, what those who have been duly elected and trained to do, which is organized labor. Um, certainly, again, there is merit to this, but there is individuals who have been uh, duly elected to do so. And what we have created here, um, unlike in the, in the case of the fast food workers, um, we are creating a, a floor and not a ceiling, which ultimately has an impact, not just on the industry, but organized labor. I would submit that it is the responsibility of this body to support the right to organize and the right to collective bargaining. But having been a president and business agent and negotiated such provisions of a contract, um, it is certainly not the, body, the duty of this uh, and responsibility of this body when they have an exclusive bargaining agent tasked with doing that. So with that, I'll be abstaining on this. Thank you. Holden. I vote aye. Brooks Powers. Um, just echoing the sentiments of my colleague, Council Member Miller, and being someone um, that has also been a part of the labor movement, um, I will abstain my vote on this. Okay, by a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero negative and two abstentions, the item has been adopted. Please, please hold the vote open. We're still waiting on one council member. Yeah, I will leave it open, but I also want to clarify that this is something, a bill that being sponsored big time by the union who represent those workers, the Communication Workers of America. This bill, I know being in directed by them because they feel that this is important for the members. I don't know if council member Lander would like to add something to that, but I wanted to also clarify that part. Thank you, Chair Rodriguez. That's exactly right. The, these workers are represented, and their representatives who have been duly elected as uh, you know through Communications Workers of America and have signed a collective bargaining agreement uh, believe that this is a critical legal floor, as as uh, Councilmember Miller speaks to, uh, that provides them an opportunity to bargain for even stronger workplace protections. This would apply if there's no collective bargaining agreement in place, because there are underground utility workers who are not represented in this bargaining unit. Um, and it provides a floor for that collective bargaining agreement. So I certainly respect the words of my of my colleagues 100%, but uh, it is a helpful clarification that this is supported by the union that represents most of these workers. Thank you. And and I want to, uh, we will leave it open and, and, and somebody else will close it, the clerk will close it. And I also want to, to thank a speaker, Corey Johnson, because this thing happening only with, you know, the introduction and carried by Councilmember Lander, but also, with the support of the leader of the council, which is our speaker, Corey Jones. So with that- Thank you, Chair. Leader, Thank you, Chair. I share that sentiment as well. Just a quick, quick word, uh, this is Cabrera. Uh, if all possible, I'd like to start on time uh, for governmental operations. We'll try to make that happen, sir. Uh, we're still in transportation at the moment. We're leaving the vote open for a couple of more moments. So uh, we'll try to accommodate you as best as possible. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.
Hey, Sergeant Biondo, can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you loud and clear. H have we moved forward with the vote? Uh, we're still in recess right now for transportation and then uh, heading over to governmental operations. So uh, we're just waiting on one more member. Um, are we recessed? I, are we holding I for can, a vote? I am sorry, I can, I can take his vote if, if he's ready. Yes, that would be good. All right, continuation of roll call committee on transportation. Council member Reynoso. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Matt, can you please call on Councilwoman Brooks Powers? Her hand is raised. Council member Brooks Powers. Um, I wanted to circle back on my vote considering clarification given by council member Lander, which was helpful to give better context on it. And so I'd like to switch my vote to I. Okay, the, the updated vote, nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. Thank you. Council Member Cabrera. Yes. Are, would you be able to adjourn the transportation hearing, please? Absolutely. So can you close, yeah, and close out the vote. Sorry. Hold on one second, Jessica. I think uh, uh, Clark has to read the final tally. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you. Hi, final vote, Committee on Transportation, nine any affirmative, zero in the negative and one abstention. Thank you. Thank you so much. And with that, we close uh, today's uh, committee on transportation. Thank you so much.